looks like we have the wolf versus the nest. Yeah. Of course, I mentioned earlier on stream, if you guys have been watching all day, uh, shout out to everybody watching. I know that a lot of people are really excited for Let's Make Big Moves right. happening on, but if you're sticking with us on the stream, we greatly appreciate it. I did mention earlier how Boombray is ranked number 10, I believe, here in SoCal, as of late. Yet again. There you go. I think they uh, went one well, different stage. Yeah. I mean, Wolf versus Wolf versus S. Is, it's a very interesting matchup for both players, both characters. I mean, both characters. I feel like Ness can really edge guard Wolf, can really put Wolf in a bad position, but Wolf just has better buttons. Yeah, you know? I think the one thing that Ness kind of has over the spaces is the ability to edge guard them as well. Even back in Smash Four, like Fox, Fox pretty much suffered pretty well against Ness. They both have been such a good record over Larry. And Wolf also will suffer to Nesto as well as we, at the same degree. But we'll see how Luma can handle against Cashier. Cashier made an upset to get to this spot for a good reason. There we go, two fairs. And try to get into the grab, but not going to be able to get in time. And again, you'll see Lumbre go for that a lot using the PK Thunder to kind of cover his ledge option. Ooh, nice. Had, yeah, caught the double jump right there. And really good to go for downer after the PK fire, understanding which direction Wolf would have been sent at. Nice. Using forward to move your hurt box away from the blast as much as possible. Ooh, but the up smash not going to be enough to take it. Doesn't have enough rage for that. But oh ooh, no! That's and get and life from PK Fire. Yep. All right. Second forward air. I like how he kind of covers where Cashew might be trying to di into the ledge with PK Fire, but unfortunately Cashew wasn't going to be up there with him. Again, just throwing out hitboxes, trying to find one that will finally connect. Yeah. Oh, Lumbre looking for an opportunity here, gets the back air. Trying to hit Cashew when he was up on the platform, but Cashew going for a good up attack. There you go, Nair throws him off stage. Going for the bear, doesn't find it, but yet again, both players missing their grabs. Oh no, he got roll out of the way. No, he's good, he's good, oh. he's good. He just, he chose to, that's kind of one of the options you could do against Ness. Usually they would have to be a little bit more shield pressure for that to actually break shields, but Cashew understood, okay, hold on. If I spot dodge at the right time, when my shield is small enough that it, I can actually go for that option, I'll be fine. All right. I mean, you just always have to be constantly worried about uh, getting shield poke too at that 100%. Yeah. Again, up tilt, catching Loom Brave. Not gonna get the two frame on the down smash, but yet again, Lumbre needs to find his kill. Nice, hold shield, he knows he's on the ledge. Back throw will be able to do it. I oh. like the falling upper attempt, and even then he covers himself up with an up smash. All right. Good pressure here. Oh, I like that he read the roll in and went for the Nair. That was good, that was good. He aimed it at himself to see if Cashew was going to hit him. If he wasn't anywhere close, Lumbre was going to be able to get away. Right. Oh, but using the, the reflector to you know, reflect the PK fire, but off stage, yep. Oh, really oh. tricky to deal with because of how disjointed forward air is. Yeah. I mean, it's disjointed, it's fast, it's, it's long lasting too. Again, Lumbre takes game one. All right, well, Lumbre can game one over Cashew. So far, not a lot of situations where Cashew was off stage. 
and he used Lubre try to capitalize off it. Uh, right. uh, one particularly seemed to happen when Lubre hit him with a forward air, and he know like, okay, Cash is gonna try to drop down and grab the ledge, and I want PK Fire to be there to meet him. All right, and there we go. There's the grab. No, I, I love what Lumbre's doing. He's just you know, throwing out an aerial right where Kashi wants to be when he jumps in. And again, there's that wolf reflector coming out again just to interrupt Lumbre trying to uh, get the punish on the PK fire. Nice. Really good opportunity for Lumbre to understand, okay, I want my opponent to hold shield, not go for down smash, not go for up smash. PK Thunder will allow me to grab the ledge. Oh, I that love the double jump away, because you know that if he had shield, it would have broken his shield. Harry, oh, nice, Harry. gets the grab, goes for back throw. Not, oh, the DI was not in the right place. Just barely enough to kill, too. Yeah. Oh, he was hoping. He was living on a prayer that Limbray would drop shield, but Limbray yeah. not going to get to him. Either drop shield or go for an out of shield option. Nice, oh, covers. Great. Yep. Covers behind him and it shield poked him, too. All right, Limbray is not going to take game two all the way home here, 132 to 66. Get him off stage here. No, no down air. I, I, I was trying from Lumei because he might have been sensing the low recovery. Ooh, but oh, but up smash. We'll take the stock right there. And again, the back air not going to be quite enough. But oh, he tried going for the down smash. But you know what? Not enough percent for it to. Uh, get punished super hard. In fact, he gets punished himself for doing that. And up smash will clean out that stock right there after the get up attack. Nice. Once again, same game time. I want Cash to place to grab the ledge for a reason. Ooh. Oh, no. My God. 70% at the ledge. You know I mean, what? that's he, that's why we saw Lumbre go for PK Thunder. He knows, you know what? If I give Cash the opportunity, Edge Guard with a forward tilt, down smash, you know, forward smash, any of the options here, I'm gonna eat something pretty big, right. especially as Ness. I mean, he died like he was at 70 after the hit. He died probably at, like 40 or something yeah. before. Yeah. Another down smash. Cashew inching in closer, forward tilt to do it. Oh no! To, he has to go jump. for the low recovery. No, he's gonna be fine. He's yeah. Gonna be fine. We're seeing the fair from ledge now. Now that he knows that, like, okay, he likes a two frame with the get up option. Perry, back throw, get him off the stage. PK Thunder to kind of force out Cashew back on the stage here. Yep. I like it. Look at his face, those back airs alongside Cashew. Oh, the platform coming in clutch for Mumbrey right there. Reads the jump. Will the call out? No rising. Oh, a lot of commitment here, but he's still able to come back. All right. Cashew opting not to go for the hard punish. And you know what? He, he picked poorly right there. He tried going for a forward tail. And Lumber is just like, okay, you did that the wrong direction. You're yeah. going to die for that. Cashew with a lot of abilities, though. Honestly, it goes to show like why he was able to get a few upsets and find themselves here in winners' quarters against Lumbre. Yeah. But Lumbre just a step above him. Right. And that's one thing that I feel like Cashew was unable to recognize yeah. here, is those up smashes. There were quite a few times where Lumbre went for them. And Lumbre knows, you know what, Cashew's gonna roll, but what he doesn't know is that I deal enough damage where I can shield poke even if he shields. And the fact that he rolled, I can still catch it with a smash. Yeah. And now game three here. Oh, took away the double jump, but you know it manages the air dodge away from it. And yet again, opting not to go for the grab, just going for the dare to prevent him from uh, using the reflector to get out of it. Oh, wow, I'm surprised he had enough magnet hands to uh, grab the ledge from that distance. Oh, good, 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 good. Not gonna let that go unpunished. Oh no, it goes above the yo-yo. 
go. Fair from ledge. Looking for the jump, not going to be able to find it. But now he's in grab range or grab percent for back throw. I'm pretty sure Fractal will kill pretty much anywhere on the stage at this point. Back throw, nice. Yeah. Not enough, too, at 145. But of course, he wasn't the wrong side of the stage. Nice with the oh. side stall and the return to sender here. Loombrain. Yeah. Great play. Dude, UPS around the globe right there. With the yeah, spear. he did, he did. Gave him value. Got sent with that Amazon packaging. <laughs> Now, Cashew, no double jump. Yeah, he's good. Yeah. Once again, Umbre able to make the recovery here. Down throw to forward air. Here we go. Cashew slowly catching up here to Umbre's game. What? That was great from Umbre. Comes up with the rising forward air. Almost enough to get the down air, but Cashew's going to fall out. Not true, giving Cashew the opportunity to shield. So, he's going to watch himself here. Yeah, again, one more up smash, and that'll be it. But Cashew is no slouch. All right. But Lumbre not letting him take that stock that easily. Gets the bear, the edge guard. I like that. He was looking for the wolf flash, but you know what? Get the wolf fox fire instead, and you know what? Not gonna be able to punish it. But nice. punish it that time. He's like, okay, you did that once already. I got that scoped out. Let me punish it the second time. And it's understanding the fact that you know what? You can space recoveries of your opponents, especially if they're gonna land on stage like that. I like it, mixing it up here on the recovery. This is the directional air dash to come on the platform, giving him another way to come back. All right. It started off with Cash and a lot of control here, but Lumbre surely makes the lead last for a reason. The up air, they're not gonna be able to do it. Again, oh, oh no, that would've been close too. And yet again, really lucky that he can get super hard punish right there, but. Yeah, I feel like Cash just should have gone for the grab and the back throw and just ended the stock there, but now he tried going for the hard up smash punish. Now he's off stage. This is really bad. Gets a tech. But oh, I like it too because he kind of accounted for the fact that if he did get up, he's going to go for a roll get up. Right. No, Cash is going to have to make some really strong plays if he wants to bring this game to you know, a game four. But is that it? Yeah, from yeah. that side of the stage, he's going to do it. Yet again, we will see Lumbre uh, facing off against Jump Steady.